ஈட்டிங் டிஸ்ஆர்டர்ஸ் ஈட்டிங் டிஸ்ஆர்டர்ஸ் ஆர் டூ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் வெரைட்டிஸ் அனோரெக்ஸியா நவோசா அண்ட் பிலீமி அனோவோசா ஸோ தீஸ் டூ டிஸ்ஆர்டர்ஸ் ஆர் ப்ரிடி மச் சிம்லர் விச் மீன்ஸ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லுக் அட் இட் இன் அ க்ளோஸர் லுக் இன் த சேம் வீடியோ அனோரெக்ஸியா நவோசா டிபிகலி இட் கோஸ் இன் அன் அடாலசன்ட் ஃபீமேல் இட்ஸ் லெஸ் காமன் வென் கம்பேர் டு பிலீமி அனோவோசா த பர்சன்ஸ் ஆப்பட்டாய்ட் இஸ் ரிலேட்டிவ்லி நார்மல் பட் தென் usually itself they consume a little lesser than other people of the same age so their weight is very less because the energy intake is very less because it happens in adolescent child okay it's an adolescent female the person is not going to take in adequate calories what happens is the sexual development does not happen and there is uh, they have very less interest in sexual activities as well there are certain peculiar food hiding habits behaviors and they are pretty much secretive about their clinical features and uh, there is amenorrhea as well anorexia nervosa there is excessive emphasis on fear of fatness and uh, excessive emphasis on thinness so the person wants to be thin all the time anorexia there is uh, hypothermia dependent edema and lanugo hair uh and in case of uh, electrolyte disturbances we are looking at hypokalemic alkalosis and dental caries treatment for anorexia nervosa mainly is an inpatient treatment where uh, we might have to give uh, nutrition we might have to give electrolytes and dehydration has to be corrected apart from that cbd that is cognitive behavioral therapy has to be given and dp dynamic psychotherapy can also be given and other treatment options include ciproheptadine tricyclic antidepressants ssris very helpful moving on to bulimia nervosa bulimia nervosa is a little bit different from anorexia nervosa anorexia and bulimia come under the same umbrella term eating disorders however bulimia nervosa occurs in late adolescence it's more common than anorexia nervosa is characterized by repeated bouts of binge eating and compensatory weight losing behavior but at the end of the day the person's weight is normal their sexual development is normal because it's late adolescent the adolescent time the sexual development has happened and their sexual activity interest is also normal they don't have any peculiar food hiding behavior they don't take small bites of food they don't spend a lot of time thinking about food and cooking food for everybody they don't do all those there's no peculiar food hiding behaviors and these people who are binge eating and uh, doing compensatory stuff they are not very secretive about what they are doing and uh, amenorrhea is not present in bulimia nervosa and then uh, other additional features include uh, the compensatory behaviors like vomiting laxative abuse diuretic abuse and dieting these are all very severe in case of bulimia nervosa anorexia nervosa the general appetite of the person is normal but then the consumption is very less they usually consume a lesser than what is needed for their age okay but in bulimia nervosa they eat a lot and then they diet and then they do abuse of laxative and diuretic to lose weight there is hypokalemic and hypochloremic alkalosis because a person vomits a lot there is binge eating and vomiting well binge eating and vomiting is more severe in case of bulimia nervosa which is why the potassium is low but apart from that the hcl from the stomach is also going to come out through the mouth in the form of vomitus and there is a problem it is hypochloremic alkalosis apart from that dental caries and enamel erosion can also occur this callus on knuckles because the person tries to mm, callus on knuckles because the person is going to try and uh, warm it by putting the hands through the mouth into the throat and uh, provoking the vomit so that's why there is callus on knuckles callus on knuckles is nothing but we can see thick tissue of skin on the knuckles so basically the knuckle feels like it is the palm of the person so it's a little rough treatment is usually an outpatient treatment because the person's weight is normal you don't have to give nutrition or dehydration or electrolyte correction that much cognitive behavioral therapy is done and dynamic psychotherapy is also done other main treatment which is very helpful is ssri so you can take a picture of this 
revise for the future and so anorexia and bulimia never says over anorexia bulimia disorders are eating disorders let's revise uh, quickly so the age of onset is different the weight of the person is a main differentiating feature and uh, um vomiting laxative abuse and diuretic abuse are pretty much important and severe in bulimia nervosa dental caries is also very severe in bulimia nervosa uh edema formation of lanugo hair disorders of sexual development sexual interest is lost these disorders amenorrhea happens all these are common in anorexia treatment is inpatient in case of anorexia nervosa outpatient in case of bulimia nervosa inpatient means the person is admitted to the hospital outpatient means person just comes in and out for a follow up and that's it that's about the eating disorders thank you